A production of theturtleroom.com. Education, conservation, survival. Diet is one of the most important factors in the overall health of any turtle. This video will follow the research of Turtle Room founder Steve Enders as he breaks down 22 commercial turtle foods, detailing each food's benefits and uses. As this video progresses, both staples and supplements will be mentioned. A staple can be used as the largest portion of the diet, but should not be used as the only food. A supplement is a food to use as part of a larger diet and should not be used as the largest portion of the diet. We consider Missouri freshwater turtle diet to be the cream of the crop, not only as a quality food, but also cost effective for our needs. It makes a good staple for anything from sliders to musks and everything in between. Missouri provides high amounts of vitamin D3, which is essential for processing calcium, and vitamin E, which is essential for shell and skin health. It also provides a good calcium to phosphorus ratio at 2 to 1. ZooMed's Natural Aquatic Turtle Hatchling Formula is a fantastic pellet for starting any hatchling on. Its small size and high protein content make it perfect for small turtles that are beginning to grow. ZooMed had the common turtle keeper in mind when they made their growth formula. This pellet is perfect for smooth growth in many of the more common species. We suggest this food to the small scale keeper who wants an affordable, high quality pellet without having to purchase a 25 pound bag. This next pellet is for adult herbivorous turtles. ZooMed's maintenance formula is in our estimation the best and maybe only low protein pellet available. Lead ingredients in Omega-1's juvenile turtle pellets are whole salmon, whole herring, and black cod. The fresh ingredients in this food make it highly attractive to turtles in both taste and smell. However, you get what you pay for and this pellet is more pricey than other choices. Omega-1 sticks to that high standard with its adult formula, which also uses fresh ingredients but somehow keeps protein levels in check, making it great for almost all species. Hikari Reptile Turtle Sticks is another well-balanced food which would be acceptable for almost any turtle. Their impressive combination of ingredients provides a lot of vitamins and minerals in natural ways. ZooMed's Reptis Sticks are the closest thing to Tetrafauna's Reptimin. However, these pellets use soybean to cut back on the wheat used. They are also lower in protein and have much better calcium to phosphorus ratio than Reptimin does. We see Nutrifin Max Turtle Pellets as an average pellet that meets most of the needs of a turtle. Protein amount is balanced, calcium to phosphorus ratio is good, and the quantity of vitamin D3 is excellent. We feel, however, that a pellet with krill and gamerish should have better amounts of vitamin E. All varieties of Tetrafauna's Reptimin have poor calcium to phosphorus ratios and low levels of vitamin E. Reptimin Plus does add vitamin E. However, in doing so, adds unnecessary protein to their already obsolete pellet. Missouri Crocodilian diet is nutritionally complete for turtles and can be a staple for more carnivorous species. It has more calcium and vitamin D3 than the freshwater turtle diet. It does have less vitamin E and more protein, however. Great pellets for turtles can also be found in the fish aisle. Aquamax, Omega-1, and Hikari all produce great pellets for turtles. Check out theturtleroom.com for all the information on this informative article and for detailed product analysis, which in most cases comes straight from our conversations with the manufacturer.